Okay, look at this ball right here. Yeah, the ball on the left and the other ball on the right. Which is bigger? Okay, so which of these balls is bigger? Is it the one on the left or the one on the right? Okay, let's bring in another ball. Now, among these uh, three balls, which one is the biggest? The biggest. All right, so bigger, biggest. These expressions, these words I use are known as comparatives and superlatives in English language. Now, you should know that in French, you have the comparative with adjectives, with nouns, and with verbs. Okay? So, terms that indicate greater, equal, and lesser in French are plus, aussi, and moins. Okay? Now, you should know that que always precedes the element being compared. In other words, the adjective is sandwiched by either plus, aussi, au moins, and que. Let's have a concrete example. Nous sommes plus grands que lui. Nous sommes plus grands que lui, meaning we are taller than s. Le ballon est plus grand que celui-là. Le ballon est plus grand que celui-là. The ball is bigger than this one. The ball is bigger than this one. Nous sommes aussi grands que lui. Nous sommes aussi grands que lui. We are as tall as he is. Or in the case of the ball, le ballon est aussi grand que celui-là. Now, what you should observe is that after plus and aussi, you have the adjective and you have que. All right, so you come in or in French, a lot of people use come. Okay, come, come, because come means like in French. So, in English, you translate this in your head as, is as tall as I am or like me or like I. But in French, this is not the case. The simple rule for comparative with adjectives is that you either use plus, moi, or aussi, plus the adjective, plus que. Okay? Then the element being compared. Let's look at another example. Je suis plus riche que d'un côté. Je suis plus riche que d'un côté. Now look at this sentence. Je suis, apparently means I am, plus riche que. So you can see that the adjective riche has been sandwiched by plus and que. So we say, je suis plus riche que d'un côté. Um, Nicolas est moins fort que toi. Nicolas est moins fort que toi. Meaning, Nicolas is weaker than you are, or is less strong than you are. So, moi is the comparative element here, immediately followed by the adjective, for, and of course, que. Elles sont aussi intelligentes que vous. Elles sont aussi intelligentes que vous. They are as intelligent as you are. So, elles sont aussi intelligentes que lui. Aussi is the comparative element. Intelligent here is the adjective and que. So, uh, for comparing with adjectives, what you need to know is that the adjective is sandwiched by either plus, moi, or aussi, as the case may be, and que, that comes just after the adjective. Okay. So now, how do you say in French, this TV is bigger than mine? So mine in French is la mienne. La mienne. So how do you say this TV is bigger than mine? Mm -hmm. Cette télé mm -hmm. est plus grand 
particule à me. Now, do you say grand or grande? Yeah, because TV is feminine, you add an extra E to grand. Don't forget the basic rule of adjectives. The adjectives agree in number and in gender with the now the modify. So that's why we say cette télé est plus grande que la mienne. Meaning, this TV is bigger than mine. So excellent. So cette télé est plus grande que la mienne. Now, let's move to comparative with nouns. Now, when nouns are compared, de always precedes the noun. Okay? Now, you should also know that, unlike the comparative with adjectives, the expression of equality, aussi, when comparing with nouns, now turns to autant de. Okay? Instead of using aussi. Let's look at some examples. Il a plus de cousins qu'elle. Il a plus de cousins qu'elle, meaning he has more cousins than she has or than she. So, uh, j'ai autant d'agents que mon frère. J'ai autant, I have as much money as my brother. Okay, so that's what we say. Uh, J'ai moins de cousins qu'elle. J'ai moins de frères qu'elle. Meaning, I have fewer brothers. I have fewer cousins than she has. Okay? Let's look at some more concrete examples. Um, ma petite sœur a plus de temps libre que moi. Ma petite sœur a plus de temps libre que moi. Meaning, my little sister has more free time than I do. Ma petite sœur a plus de, remember when comparison with nouns, de comes after plus. Okay? So, plus de plus the element of comparison, then plus que. So, ma petite sœur a plus de temps libre que moi. Je n'ai pas autant d'agents que mon frère. Je n'ai pas autant d'argent. I don't have as much money as my brother. Je n'ai pas autant d'argent que mon frère. Mon père fait moins de courses que ma mère. Mon père fait moins de courses que ma mère. When my dad does fewer errands than my mother. So in the same vein, moi de plus the now, plus que, and the other elements. Okay. Now, can you make this comparison in French and drop the answers in the comment section? Excellent. So now let's move to comparing verbs. Now, you should know that when you compare action verbs, you use plus que. Plus que, meaning more than, you use autant que, which means as much as, autant que, and you use moins que, moins que, just after the verb. Um, Dominique travaille plus que Fatima. Dominique travaille plus que Fatima. Dominique travaille plus que Fatima, meaning... Dominic works more than Fatima. Mon grand-père lit moins qu'avant. Mon grand-père lit moins qu'avant. Now, the verb here is lit. Moins que is the element of comparison verbs. And of course, we have avant, which is an adverb of time. So, uh, you can also say, uh, nous skions autant que nous travaillons. Nous skions autant que nous travaillons. Meaning, we ski as much as we work. We ski as much as we work. Now, to be sure you understand this, can you complete these sentences with the French equivalent of the phrases given in English? So don't forget, one of the most important things you also need to learn is that uh, the adjective has to agree, okay? It has to agree 
in number and in gender. Let's do number one together before I leave you to do the rest. Ta maison est ma mama, mon appartement. Ta maison est ma mama, mon appartement. Now, I want to insert smaller than here in French. I want to say, your house is smaller than my apartment or my flat. Now, how do you say smaller than in French? Remember, small here is an adjective. Mm -hmm. Ta maison est plus petit. Now, did you say petit or petit? Petit. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why you say petit and not petit? Excellent. Because maison is a feminine noun. Excellent. So we say, ta maison est plus petite que mon appartement. Meaning, your house is smaller than my flat or than my apartment. Okay? Brilliant. So, can you try and do the rest? <laughs> 